Well, last awesome. month I showed you how to gain root access to the Samsung Galaxy S21, the Galaxy S21 Plus, and the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Since then, you may have read a headline or two talking about a new over-the-air update that it's been pushing out to Galaxy S21 devices. This is the March security update. And you're likely wondering why you have not received an over-the-air update notification for it. In fact, whenever you, at least in my experience, whenever you unlock the bootloader for a Samsung smartphone, you will no longer be eligible to download and install over-the-air updates through its typical updater process. And instead, we have to manually update our firmware with a program called Odin. So today I'm going to show you how to install a new over-the-air update on your Samsung Galaxy S21. But also, we're going to do it while maintaining root access. So we are starting this tutorial with a Galaxy S21 Ultra that has been rooted. And we're gonna install that new over-the-air update while maintaining root access. So the first thing you need to do is actually download the firmware that you're gonna to update to. Now I've done previous tutorials to show you multiple ways of how to download Samsung firmware. I use a program called Freya, but there are a number of different other options out there, including other websites. And it doesn't matter where you get it from as long as it's a trusted source and that you know it has not been modified. So I just want to show you this is the firmware file that I downloaded with Freya. I have extracted the contents of this file with a program called 7-Zip. And that gave me these files right above it. So after you have downloaded the firmware and extracted the contents, we're going to take this file that begins with AP. It's a rather large file, seven gigabytes right here. And we're going to take that and we're going to copy it to our Samsung Galaxy S21. Now you should have Magisk Manager or now it's known as simply Magisk, the Magisk app. You should have this application installed since we have previously gained root access. We're going to need to open up this application. And then we're going to tap the install button in the top section for Magisk. We're going to get a number of options here. We're going to choose the select and patch a file option. And that's going to open up a file browser that we can use to locate where we put that AP file and then select that AP file. So once we have selected the AP file, we should get the let's, let's go button right up at the top. And once we tap that, you're going to see a lot of text scrolling at the top. This is your log file telling you exactly what Magisk app is doing to that firmware file. Not only does it need to extract the contents of that firmware, it also needs to patch and modify a couple of those files before putting all of that back together and giving you one file as an output file. This Magisk underscore patched file right here is basically going to replace our AP file from earlier. So now that we are told that the output file has been written in our downloads folder, we're going to connect the Galaxy S21 back to our PC and we're going to copy this Magisk patched file back to our computer. Now that we have the file copied back to our PC, we then need to boot the Samsung Galaxy S21 into download mode. Now I've previously shown you how to boot this device into download mode. 
So if you're not familiar with how to do that, be sure to check the video description as I'll be including a link of how to do that. It requires using a USB cable and holding down both the volume up and volume down buttons until we get that blue splash screen. And then once you get to this screen, we're simply going to press the volume up button on a single press, not a long press, just a single press so that we can enter download mode. With our Samsung Galaxy S21 in download mode, we can open up our Odin program. Make sure that the phone has been connected to our PC with a USB cable and we should get an added message at the bottom of our log here. Now, just like when we gained root access to this device, we're gonna be loading the firmware files into these four blocks, the BL, the AP, the CP, and the CSC blocks. We're gonna be using these four. And we're going to be inserting the firmware files that we downloaded earlier. However, instead of using this AP file, we're going to replace that with the Magisk patched file. And instead of using the regular CSC file, which is required when we first gain root access, we're going to be using the home underscore CSC file so that we can retain our data. So we have clicked the BL button and we have loaded the file that begins with BL. We are going to click the AP button and remember instead of loading the AP file we're going to load the Magisk patched file. Then we're going to click the CP button and we're going to load the file that begins with CP. And lastly, we're going to click the CSC button. And we're going to select the file that begins with home underscore CSC. And you may get the Odin program taking a couple of seconds to load that file in. So we have our phone in download mode. It's connected to our PC with the USB cable. We have Odin open. Odin has detected our phone and we have loaded the required files into the program. All we have to do now is click the start button right here and wait for the flash process to complete. So you're gonna wait, wanna make sure that the connection to the smartphone is secure and solid. You're not going to want to mess with the USB cable or the connectors if you can help it. So not only are you going to see a progress bar right here, along with telling you which file is currently being flashed, and we can also monitor that, monitor it down here in the log window as well. But you're also going to see a progress bar filling up on the Galaxy S21 as well. All we're gonna do is we're gonna wait until we get a green pass message right here. And we're gonna see our Samsung Galaxy S21 reboot on its own once the process is complete. There's our green pass. Our Galaxy S21 has rebooted and it's gonna boot us back into Android. We just saw the Samsung Galaxy S21 reboot. 
it displayed a Android figure saying that it was doing some erasing and then it rebooted again, again all on its own. At the bottom we're being told that the phone is being updated. And then it's going to let us boot into the Android operating system. Now you can see we have not lost any of our data. We still have the icons in the same locations that they were before, which are in non-stock locations. Still maintaining access to my Wi-Fi network, so Wi-Fi data has been saved. Our previously installed apps are still there, including Majisk, that we can open up. Make sure that we are still maintaining root access. If you want to check with a root checker application, you can do that as well. But more importantly, we can then go into the settings application. Look in the about phone section. And make sure that we have updated to the latest version of Android with the March security update. So that is how to install a new over-the-air update for the Samsung Galaxy S21 while your device is rooted and while maintaining root access after the update.